looking at the name and address, which seems fairly basic, fairly straightforward, but there are some nuances that we want to touch on and point out here. Obviously, the IRS is going to want, when we fill out our tax return, our legal name, our address, and then they're going to want our identification number, typically our social security number, so that they can turn us into a number and then require that we're going to pay taxes. And if we don't pay taxes, they know where we live so they can come after us and make us. Okay, so the name and address. So you're going to print or type the information in the space provided. If you are married filing a separate return, enter your spouse's name in the entry space below the filing status check boxes instead of below your name. In other words, at the top of the form 1040, we're going to have the name information. According to the filing statuses, if we're single, you would think we would just have one individual and not have a spouse. So we wouldn't be putting a name into the spouse's line item. However, if we're married, we might be able to choose to file married filing joint, which is the preferred filing status typically, but we could choose married filing separately. If we choose married filing separately, we're still going to have our name as the primary taxpayer on the return, but then they still want the name of the spouse typically, even though we're filing a separate return. And theoretically, the spouse would then also have to file a return so that the IRS knows what's going on and can kind of mirror what is happening on their side from both people that are filing a married filing separate return. So tip. If you filed a joint return for 2022 and you are filing a joint return for 2023 with the same spouse, be sure to enter your names and social security numbers, which are abbreviated as SSNs whenever you see that, in the same order as on your 2022 return. In other words, usually when you look at the tax return, you're going to have to list one name before the other name. And traditionally, that would be if you're married filing joint, the husband would be the primary taxpayer and then... Uh, the spouse uh, on would be the also on the return, the second name on the return. If you flip the order of that, and in the following year, you put the spouse as the first name, the primary taxpayer, and then the other spouse uh, as the second, you're going to confuse the IRS. You're potentially, and you don't want to confuse the IRS because when you do that, then that usually causes delays and problems. So you want to keep the ordering typically the same uh, from year to year.